It's time now for our health segment on Our Community. I'm Tim Hart talking with Emily Young. She is a registered dietitian at the Community Health Center of Branch County. Uh, this month is National Nutrition Month and our theme today is eat right. And when you say, I'm just going to give the broad statement, eat right, means what? It means eat healthy, balanced diet. All right, and when you talk about a balanced diet, are we talking about, uh, you know, just a, a variety of types of foods? I'm sure fruits and vegetables and that sort of yes, thing. Yes, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, dairy is important too, and your meat group. Mm -hmm. um, we recommend half of your grains be whole grain, like 100% whole wheat, breads, and cereals. All right, so that's much better than getting the, what you're saying is like the white bread. Yes, Okay. very much so. All right, and as we take a look at it, uh, you know, one of the notes here, we talk about uh, making your calories count. Is this something that I need to go to the store and everything I buy, take a look at the calories, or how would that work? Yes, um, we want you to get the proper calories from the healthy foods, like your healthy fats, your monounsaturated and your polyunsaturated fats, rather than trans fats and saturated fats. Mm -hmm. um, choose more fruits, vegetables, whole grains, rather than choosing the high fat products, like cookies and crackers, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Now, will all that be on the label when I pick up the products at the store? Sure, yes. A lot of the products today say no trans fats or no saturated fats mm -hmm. on the front of the package. So as we, we take a look at that, um, uh, those are the two to, to see the zero. The on, zero, right? yes. Okay. <laughs> they are the bad fats. They are the bad. You got that bad fats there, and I know I'm a big fan of French fries, and I'm sure that's not good, unless they maybe are baked. The bake at home, bake them. A lot of the fast food restaurants these days are going non trans fats. They're using healthier cooking oils, mm -hmm. like your um, corn oils and your olive oils. Yeah, and you can tell in some of the french fries. Yeah. <laughs> People who right. love french fries don't <laughs> yeah. like the new ones. No, that's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly right. And we talk about uh, focusing on a variety of foods, and I know there's uh, kind of a, a pyramid or a rainbow of foods. Uh, give me a little info on that. Well, um, the pyramid has um, your, all your food groups. It's got your meat and bean group, your dairy group, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. We want you to try and eat something from every group at each meal. Mm -hmm. um, try and vary your colors even in vegetables from green, orange, red, and that could be from broccoli, carrots, tomatoes, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. They have every fruit and vegetable have more or different vitamins and minerals. Mm -hmm. So what do you suggest uh, for families on the run, which a lot of people are, where they're running out from, from either basketball or baseball or soccer or whatever the case may be? Um, I suggest that they plan ahead as much as possible. And that could be um, maybe cooking dinner in a crock pot before they leave in the morning to quick eat, mm -hmm. or choose healthier options like Subway or um, grilled chicken sandwiches at places and the side salads. A lot of places have fruit and yogurt. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would imagine that uh, part of, um, you know, not just eating right, but being healthy overall would mean uh, a little bit of exercise? Yes. And we recommend most days um, 30 to 60 minutes of moderate exercise. A lot of people can't do that. Mm -hmm. So I said even if they break it up or take stairs when you can, park mm -hmm. further away at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. or take a couple laps around the grocery store before you even start your shopping. So really just little things. And I would imagine that that is as important uh, no matter what age somebody is. And, and even more important, you know, if you, you talk about making laps around the grocery store, probably good for uh, people that are, uh, you know, more mature. Sure, yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, I guess. Yep. Um, I also hear the biz biggest excuse this time of year, they have no place to exercise. Mm -hmm. And I say everyone goes to the grocery store once or twice a week. Mm -hmm. So if they walk around there a couple times, you're getting exercise. Well, so you go in from one item, the next thing you know, you got a whole cart for a while because I keep walking around the store and seeing things that I want. <laughs> exactly. you got to be disciplined enough not to buy. <laughs> um, what about uh, fluids? Uh, obviously, every Everybody says, oh, drink lots of water. Is there a certain amount that we should uh, uh, have intake in during the day? Yes, we do recommend at least 8 to 10 glasses of water a day. But that also can be included in coffee, tea, juice, if it's 100% juice, low-fat or fat-free milk. Mm -hmm. We also want you to keep it serving sizes with juice, which is about 4 ounces. Mm -hmm. So um, the coffee and tea are good. they got caffeine and that sort of thing, but then pop is not so good? Um, not so much. Coffee and tea, though, we do would like you to limit your caffeine beverages to one to two a day. Okay, all right. Anything else you can tell me about eating right, being healthy, and uh, being the new person for 2009? Just if anyone could make a couple small goals. And try those and see if they accomplish so those. So instead of making this big, huge plan, make a smaller plan that you can accomplish and then see... Exactly. Yep. Well, Emily, once again, thanks for being with us. We do appreciate all your information, and you can contact her at the Community Health Center of Branch County. Emily Young.
registered dietitian at the Community Health Center of Branch County. For our community, I'm Tim Hart. Remember, it is National Nutrition Month, and the theme is Eat Right.